Good night, good night. This is the Apostle once again out of Zurich. I just come across a news headline out of this, the Gleaner. With all respect due to the Gleaner. My viewers and subscribers, please continue to share and subscribe. This is a local news and it's called Kiss Me Neck. Local chicken find itself in a pickle. This was dated the 19th of August, Sunday, 2018. Here is, I'm surprised a chicken can be done in this way. But let me get down into the news itself. Locally produced chicken neck has been in pickle for the past two months. A development for which poultry market leader, the Jamaica boiler, is taking full responsibility. When the Sunday leader visited the Compi processing plant in Spring Village, St. Catherine, last Tuesday, Michael Jones, sales and marketing director at the Best Dress Chicken Sales and Marketing Division, was insistent that the situation will continue for some time. We are supplying to old sailors and we're not planning to put it into supermarket just yet. But the demand has just taken off and the supermarkets are repacking, repackaging it in tray, um, tray packs and they seems to be leading the charge. Their demand is a is way above any of the other segments, which we didn't expect. We thought the market would be mainly wholesalers and caterers, food service. We were wrong. Retail is running with it at a pace we didn't anticipate. Jones said as he provided an update on the response of Bestress Chicken Kiss Minic brand, and pickled chicken neck packages in five gallon plastic keg. Jones added, it's healthy, attractive, quick and convenient to use, and it's tasty. So we anticipate it's going to take off in a short time. It's half the price of pigtail, and when you prepare it, if you do it the right, the difference is negligible. You can taste, you can't taste the different. It doesn't add the amount of fat, so it's healthy. For those who don't um, eat pork, it's a fantastic alternative. If you soak it overnight and just do a light scald, you're ready to ramble and so kiss me neck. While we were coming up with the project, one of my favorite saying was kiss me neck. So my staff liked the term and it stuck and the product was named kiss me neck. The overwhelming response from consumers who initially reacted with disbelief has been a revelation too, as well as a vindication for the best dressed chicken, um, best dressed chicken team and in particular, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Christopher Levy. The Sales and Marketing Director explained, At one of the show recently, the Kismanek Chicken Soup was one of the frontline products we were introducing, and people were tasting it and could not believe pickled chicken could taste like that. But the secret is really the pickle flavor. You pickle pork, beef, or chicken, and you get a particular flavor, which is what we like in the soup, stroop or stroop peas, and that's what is it's delivering, that pickle flavor. We had people tried it, and we had comment like, no sir, pick still in a dish, me have it talk to the chef. So it's been around two months and the response has been um, 
fantastic. Jones said that it is quite a contrast to what happened more than 20 years ago when Christopher Levy was working in the family business while attending college. According to Jones, even then, there was an excess inventory of chicken necks and young Levy was given the task of coming up with a project to find an economically viable way of utilizing the product. He came up with pickled chicken. Sadly, the market was not ready for it. People turned it down. We took it into the old sales and some of the restaurant and they said, no way. As long as I have pig's tail, that will never sell. It was a big flop. With excess chicken necks still in issue this time around, Best Dressed Chicken was cautious in its re-entry to the market. We ran the experiment and gave away kegs so that people could get to know it and use it. Now we are starting to see the recording coming, but it's a vindication of its of his leave his effort at effort twenty odd years ago when it crashed and burned. Then people didn't even want the samples. Can you imagine that? They were not interested in it. They literally refused it. I mean even when we were trying to give it away, said Jones. He noted that the demands for the pickle chicken neck is rising faster than the company anticipated, but said it will be able to respond. Wow, you just imagine. 20 years ago, nobody would think of eating pickled chicken neck. And now, 20 years later, it's taking the market by storm. Wow. We had pickled pig tail and beef. Well, let's see what the consumers think about it. And you, my viewers and subscribers, let me hear your views. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and do subscribe. Bless.